follow Marky with Texas GOP vote and with Voices Action. And I'm here with Governor Jeff Bush. It's nice to meet you, Governor. Nice Bush. to meet you too. Welcome to Miami. Hey, thank you very much. I would like uh, if you can give us a message for Texas and for all the American people about why it's important the Latino vote in this upcoming election. Well, the Latino vote for the next five elections will be important because it's the fastest growing population in our country and Latinos preside in the swing states. So if a president wants to be elected, they have to court Hispanic voters because they're the fastest growing swing voters in the swing states. So whether, whether it's New Mexico, Colorado, even Texas, certainly Florida, North Carolina, Virginia, the fastest growing demographic are Hispanic voters. And that's why it's important. But it's also important because we, we miss an opportunity as conservatives to advocate uh, an aspirational message to aspirational people. One of the things that I notice is sometimes people don't understand the importance to find a realistic immigration solution. I like what you have shared, but can you say just briefly, what do you think Republicans have to do so we can get a Latino vote reserve regarding this issue? Well, first of all, use speak about immigration in the broader context. We're a nation of immigrants. We benefit from immigration. It's, it's our secret weapon for economic competitiveness. It brings vitality to our country. Uh, a message that is, is exclusively focused on border enforcement is, is a sterile message. Hispanic voters support border enforcement. They want the border's control, but they also want to create, create opportunities for people that um, work hard and play by the rules to create prosperity for themselves and their families and, and their communities. So I would, I would talk about immigration in economic terms, how, how powerful it is for our country. We're, we're a country of immigrants, but we now think that immigration somehow isn't part of the American story, which it is. We're a country that grows older each day, not you, but me. We get older, and as we get older, we need younger people. We need young, energetic, aspirational people to make it possible for us to defy the demographic challenges, the time bomb that exists globally. China has huge problems. Japan has problems. Europe has problems. Only the United States could absorb immigrants in a way that uh, allows for economic growth and prosperity for people. So a broader, deeper message is what's necessary. Muchas gracias, Gobernador. Por nada, de nuevo. Muchas gracias. Bien.